Today we will learn division of integers. A farmer named Rajesh took a loan of rupees 50,000 from his five friends for his daughter's wedding. If he has borrowed the same amount from each of his friends, then the loan taken from each friend can be found by dividing 50,000 rupees by 5. On solving this, we get to know that the loan taken from each friend is 10,000 rupees, which we represent as minus 10,000. In today's video, let us learn the division of integers in a fun way. There are two types of buttons here, one red and one blue. Suppose the value of red button is plus 1 and the value of the blue button is minus 1. Using these, let us understand the division of two positive integers. Suppose we want to find out what will be the quotient of plus 6 divided by plus 2, we have to find how many groups of plus 2 will be there in plus 6. So let's find the quotient. If we keep 6 red buttons, their total value will be plus 6. If we make groups of 2 red buttons, we will get 3 such groups. Here the value of each group will be plus 2. We can say that there will be 3 groups of plus 2 in plus 6. That is, plus 6 divided by plus 2 is equal to plus 3. In broad terms, we can say that the quotient obtained by dividing any two positive integers is positive. Divisor cannot be 0 here. Will the quotient obtained from the division of two negative integers also be positive? Think. Let us know this by obtaining the quotient of minus 6 divided by minus 2. Here we have to see how many groups of minus 2 will be there in minus 6. If we keep 6 blue buttons, then their total value will be minus 6. Out of this, if we make groups of 2 blue buttons each, we will get a total of 3 groups. Here the value of each group will be minus 2. We can say that minus 6 will have 3 groups of minus 2, so minus 6 divided by minus 2 is equal to plus 3. In broad terms, we can say that the quotient obtained by dividing any two negative integers is positive. Your divisor cannot be 0. Now let us understand the division of a negative integer by a positive integer. Suppose we have to find the quotient of minus 6 divided by plus 2. This is an interesting situation. Here we have to find how many groups of plus 2 will be there in minus 6. Or, if there is a group of plus 2, then how many such groups will have a value of minus 6? If we take two red buttons, their value will be plus 2. If we add any number of groups with plus 2 value, then we will never get the value of minus 6 because adding positive integer to positive integer always gives a positive integer. So what shall we do now? Think well. Let me tell you. If we take a red button and a blue button, then the total value will be plus 1 plus minus 1 is equal to 0. Since the value of a pair of a red button and a blue button is 0, we call it a zero pair. To get the value of minus 6, we will first take two zero pairs. If we remove two red buttons from these two zero pairs, we get two blue buttons. In this way, we get a total value of minus 2 by subtracting the value of plus 2 from the zero pair. Similarly, if we take two more zero pairs and subtract the value of two red buttons, that is plus 2, then we get two more blue buttons whose value is minus 2. Now there are a total of 4 blue buttons whose total value is minus 4. Similarly, now for the third time, we will take the two zero pairs and subtract two red buttons, that is plus 2. This again gives us two blue buttons whose value is minus 2. We now have a total of 6 blue buttons with a total value of minus 6. We have formed a group of two red buttons, that is plus 2, three times and obtained minus 6. Therefore, minus 6 divided by plus 2 is equal to minus 3. Here the 3 shows 3 groups and minus sign shows the action of subtraction. In broad terms, we can say that the quotient obtained by dividing a negative integer by a positive integer is negative.
your divisor cannot be zero. Now let's find out when a positive integer is divided by a negative integer, the quotient is positive or negative. Suppose we have to find the quotient of plus 6 divided by minus 2. Here we have to find out how many groups of minus 2 will be there in plus 6. Or if there is a group of minus 2, then how many such groups will have a value of plus 6? To get the value of plus 6, we first take two zero pairs. If we remove two blue buttons from these two zero pairs, we get two red buttons. In this way, we get the total value plus 2 by subtracting the value of minus 2 from the zero pair. Similarly, if we take two more zero pairs and subtract the value of two blue buttons, that is minus 2, then we get two more red buttons, which is plus 2. There are a total of four red buttons whose total value is plus 4. Similarly, now for the third time, we will take two zero pairs and subtract the value of two blue buttons, that is minus 2. This will again give us two red buttons whose value is plus 2. Now we have a total of six red buttons whose value is plus 6. Since we have formed a group of two blue buttons three times, that is minus 2, to get plus 6, plus 6 divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 3. Here, the 3 shows 3 groups and minus sign shows the action of subtraction. In broad terms, we can say that the quotient obtained by dividing a positive integer by a negative integer is negative. Your divisor cannot be 0. In this way, you must have understood by now that the quotient obtained by dividing two integers with the same signs is positive and the quotient obtained by dividing integers with different signs is negative. Note that in any case, the divisor cannot be zero. So today, we learn division of integers. Examples related to these will be seen in the next video.